everyone, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 4. And we're going to continue with that little journey here. Only to get a call from... Raiden. The heavier someone is, the deeper the footprint they'll leave behind. Take a look with the solid eye. Deeper footprints should show up darker than shallow ones. Right. These footprints ought to be shallower than the soldiers. She's not carrying any gear. If you were carrying somebody, however, the extra weight would make your footprints deeper. So, one of them might be carrying Naomi. So That's obvious. Oh my god. Are some of the prints deeper than others? Look closely, Snake. And of course, there are, so... What we gotta do here is turn on night vision. <clears throat> but you can't really do that for this sector because, well... You have to use it sparingly, like, sparingly. Um, basically, if you have your solid eye on, you're gonna get caught by uh, these PMC frog soldiers that are hiding. So, this is like a lot of trial and error right here, because you can easily get caught, like I said before, but you just gotta know where everybody is, like where everyone's hiding, and you just need experience, you know? So this is really like the proving grounds right here. Like the rest of the game is easy compared to this part right here. Like this is like the hardest part. See, I remember like, see that tree stump over there, like right in front of us. I remember that's the right path to go. But we don't want to like turn on the uh, solid eye because you know some frog soldiers might catch us, and we'd automatically uh, fail this uh, no alerts LP. So. But basically what you want to do is just look for the deeper footprint and then just follow it. Just make sure just to use your solid, solid eye sparingly and you'll be fine. Plus it's a world of hell if you get caught in this level, so... I hope YouTube doesn't make this darker than it already is. Alright, so now there's a frog soldier right over here. See it? Got it. I remember the first time I went right past here, I automatically got caught, so... Yeah, it's just, you gotta look around, you know? I hope this will be like a good guide if I make it out successfully. I usually do. Ah, there's also uh, something else I want to show you guys. It's a little uh, Easter egg that I found recently in one of my uh, more recent playthroughs of this game. Alright, now there's a soldier setting down claymores over they here. Must have gone separate ways oh! Here. God, Otacon, okay. <sighs> Alright, we got that one. And you can pick up the claymore if you want, but I think I'm full of those, so there's no point. I swear to God, Otacon is like... Freaking uh, Navi from Ocarina of Time just pops up out of nowhere and just says, Hey, you know? It's like, oh my god. So annoying. Just shut up. I know how to play the game already. Alright, now if you go over here, if I remember correctly. Yep. Um, over here you have this concrete pad. And it's... Yeah, they have uh, random handprints in them and signatures. So it's sort of like... Um, what was that thing in Hollywood where they had the stars and then the handprints and then the signatures? But it's something like that, but I think it's done by the team or the developing team for this game. So that was pretty cool. And if you turn on your uh, goggles, you'll notice that they're handprints instead of footprints. That lead towards that, so just thought I'd show you guys that. I thought it was really cool. Nothing. There's really nothing you can do with it, though. It's just there, just to, just for giggles and shits, or shits and giggles. <laughs> Never thought I'd switch those around. All right. So just keep crawling north. And I wish I could just walk across, but I don't know where these enemies are. Like not immediately. So let's just play safe and sorry. Hmm. 
I remember there's somebody being over here. I don't know if it's like one or two people, but there's somebody over here. I always had trouble with this specific part because I never remember where that soldier is. Or, I don't know if it's a frog soldier or a regular PMC soldier. We'll have to check this out. I don't want to crawl through because, <clears throat> believe it or not, there's a... I believe Naomi has her shoes over there. I think her shoes came... Either her shoes came off or... No, not her shoes, but something of hers. A scarf or whatever. But I remember there like being like an enemy sniper here. I just don't remember where. But I'm not going to go through... The point is I'm not going to go through that middle path because I think I'd be caught. So we'll just go over here by the wayside. You gotta be very careful. Oh, shit. I don't know where it is. Hopefully I'll just be able to crawl through here without having to... Okay, no. Oh, sweet. Is that a case over there? Oh, shit! Oh! Something there? Oh, my God. <clears throat> oh. Holy shit. I almost got caught there. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, DSR. That would have hurt. Ah, oh, jeez. Hopefully that was the only soldier there. I knew there was a soldier around here somewhere. <clears throat> Phew, now that we got that out of the way, let's head on down. So guys, um, I bet you all heard, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna turn this on real quick. But I bet you all heard that I'm gonna be doing Suikoden in 1 as my next uh, major LP after this one. So that was my little surprise to you all, and then I will uh, ice, ice this soldier right here. And then we will continue on with the subscriber's choice, which will be... You go, you're going to vote on it now, but it's not going to be until next year, because I'm assuming that doing this and the game will probably continue into my sophomore year at college. So, I'm just giving myself time, really. <clears throat> so, it might happen right before next year, but it's going to be a while away. But I'm going to let you guys vote on some of the choices I have for you uh, pretty soon. But yeah, Suikoden's going to be my uh, next major LP. I think I'm going to stick with the series. Just as long as you guys like it, I'll do it, I guess. <clears throat> but I love Metal Gear, so... It's kind of funny, because I've only LP'd Konami games... I didn't even notice that until now. Even though, well, yeah, but whatevs. Yeah, right now I'm kind of lost. Oh, lucky me, huh? <clears throat> uh, basically, if you look at like the toe part of the footprints. If you see that one is like brighter, that means that the footprint is deeper. So it's probably the one with the soldier carrying uh, Naomi. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way there, but yeah, let's continue over here. Because I'm kind of fuzzy with this part, because I don't remember where. I only remember like the, the beginning, the middle, and then like a little bit of the end. The only thing I remember is that there's like a mine shaft you have to enter, and that's about it. Alright, we must be close, because I hear a helicopter. Ah! Alright. So there's a mine shaft down here? <clears throat> oh yes, I remember I this part now. Footprints now. Security's getting tighter. We could be getting close to Naomi. Oh, 
All right. Yeah, let's uh, change the uh, camouflage or the face camo here. Oh yeah. Oh, thank God. We are done with the hardest part in the game, ladies and gentlemen. The rest of it is just going to be nothing but cutscenes and fun. So, this is like the, really the last major part of gameplay you're ever going to be uh, doing. Like, the rest of it is literally just cutscenes. It's ridiculous. I might have to split this episode. I'll see you for the next vid. See ya.